Continuing our discussion on logarithmic equations, here we have one log base 4 of x plus 3 minus log base 4 of x equals 2. Now just like with our previous example, we need to somehow compress these logs into one log and then be able to apply properties that will allow us to get rid of the log by invoking this inverse function of the exponential. So first let's focus on combining these logs into one. We have three log properties. All three of these log properties are based on exponential properties. And we, we've discussed these properties before. The one that I want to call out is the second one. Notice we have a subtraction of logs, which means if we want to compress them, we need to divide their arguments. So we'll have one log, log base 4, and we'll put the first one over the second one, just like our property here says. And remember that that's coming from dividing with exponents. So a to the power m over a to the power n is equivalent to a to the power m minus n. And logs are exponents, so these exponent rules corresponding directly to log properties make sense. Now we have an equation with one log in it, so we can we can use the inverse function to get rid of the log. The inverse of log base 4 is 4 to an exponent. So we're going to take 4 and raise both of these sides of the equation as an exponent of the 4. When we do that, we're raising 4 to the exponent of 4 that will give us x plus 3 over x. So this 4 and log base 4 cancel each other out. And then 4 squared is 16. So we are left with x plus 3 over x equals 16. And now we have a rational equation that we need to solve. So we can multiply by the least common denominator of x. The denominator will cancel with the x on the left. And we have x plus 3 equals 16x. We want to get the x's on the same side. 3 equals 15x. We can divide by 15 and we get x equals 1 fifth, or if we want to write it as a decimal number, that's fine too, point 0.2. Checking it, always important that we check our answer. We're going to go all the way back up to the original equation. Log base 4, point 0.2 plus 3 minus log base 4, point 0.2, does that equal 2? But we are allowed to use these properties of logs, so I'm going to combine this. Log base 4, 3.2 divided by 0.2 and then try to figure out what 3.2 divided by 0.2 is. Oh, that's 16. And sure enough, log base 4 of 16 does indeed equal 2 because 4 squared equals 16.